Hello technology lovers, hello youtubers, we got a tutorial that will show you how to stream on non-smart TVs the YouTube because you know if you don't have a smart TV you can't pair your YouTube application with your TV and uh, in Android 6 you can't uh, stream to non-smart TVs or smart TVs unless, unless you install an uh, application and I'm gonna show you for example I have this gallery and you got to go uh, to stream photos or videos in Galaxy application and install, look for Samsung Smart View. This is the software, install it because Samsung, I don't know, is, uh, it minimized the number of applications installed on uh, their last Android. So this uh, install the Samsung Smart View, open it and pair your phone, you got to be on the same Wi-Fi. So now in the application you got to be on the same network, you got to go refresh and this is a non-smart TV. Uh, click on this uh, TV, it will uh, sign count of pair with the TV and now you, you can stream and now you can stream your videos and your uh, picture files. The picture files can be streamed directly from um, the, the the gallery but the video files you see here is the tv now we got image and it's streamed on the tv i will show you later um, i don't like because i cannot stream for example videos directly from the gallery so i have some hd videos okay so share it smart view and if you see it didn't find my tv but it's very strange because in the smart view i will go to the same video and uh, as i pushed it streams over my tv it's already streamed okay so this this is the way to stream videos and photos or you can stream it direct from here from photos uh, let's see, I can stream, for example, this picture, yeah. Okay, directly to the TV. Now it's streamed to my TV. So, for example, if I uh, try to stream some of my pictures, let's go uh, on a picture, share it, smart view, and here it's already connecting. It's, yes, it's connected. And now, uh, if you want to stream directly from the smart view, let's see, any video, connect with the TV, it shows my TV, it's connected now, and add the videos, oh it has, and it has some bugs, because it's not displaying any of my, uh, my stuff. Let's exit the application. Let's run it again. I think the application didn't close at all. It was, yes, it was uh, somewhere in the back. And now, look, you can stream rapidly with, uh, with this program, your clips. I muted the sound, the sound doesn't uh, have problems. <coughs> okay, now guys, for the YouTube, for example, I have a YouTube. So, in YouTube, uh, let's say for example, I want to, I don't know, view a clip on my TV. So, I told you, it's non-smart TV, so you can pair it. Well, you can press this arrow, share it, and you have to install, you got to install Flips TV. Flips TV somehow, somehow converts the YouTube video. Uh, and sends it directly to the non non smart TV. Okay, my Samsung TV was listed, waiting for Samsung TV, and now it's broadcasting to the non smart TV. So this is how you can stream your stuff, guys. This is how you can stream your video files, music files, photos and even YouTube to a non-smart TV. Hope uh, these tips, these tricks helped you. You can even skip the video where you like. Yes, 
it's a great application uh, it's better you know uh, with smart TVs because you can connect it but I want to tell you you cannot share <laughs> even on smart TV the photos from the gallery uh, without installing the Samsung uh, smart uh, smart view so this is the tutorial guys uh, hope it helped you if it helped you thumbs up and subscribe for, uh, on our channel please and uh, if you have questions please uh, comment below if you have some tips for helping other users free see you thumbs up bye